Hello everybody and welcome to another Run on the Moon tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about how to decide which gearbox you want to use on your car. Gearboxes make a huge difference in how your motor behaves and will basically determine your top speed. And there's also a glitch you can do with a gearbox and two motors to get almost double the torque out of a motor. Now, a mistake many people make with gearboxes is thinking that they're a direct upgrade. Like, people will look at the Cheetah and see increases speed but reduces torque. Then they'll go and put that on their starter motor, thinking speed equals go faster. When this is not always the case, especially with your starter motor, it's very weak. And with this gearbox, it's made even weaker. What you really want to do early on is you want to get either a mule or maybe even an ox if you have a very heavy car. These gearboxes make your motor a little bit slower, but it makes it stronger. And you'll probably notice that the extra strength will actually lead to you going faster than with the other gearboxes or no gearbox at all, just because you can get more power out of that gearbox. Now let's talk about the red gearboxes. Reindeer and Cheetah. Ignore Cheetah. Pretend it doesn't exist. Cheetah damages your torque so badly that it almost doesn't work at all, even if you have three Medius motors. I have eight Medius motors, but you tend to go slower with any more than three. Editing teeter here, I forgot to mention, don't use the motor booster either. But the reindeer gearbox will work well if you have a lot of motors or a strong one, and only a few batteries. Now, the reason you can do this with just a few batteries is because you can go a lot faster, and you can use less power by going faster with the same amount. Now, let's talk more about heavier builds, things for trailers, or maybe if you wanted to do larger wheels, because larger wheels make you go slower too. What you're going to want to do is get at least one of these Mark II motors first. And the reason why is because we're going to be doing a glitch to make it faster. What we're going to do is we're going to chain it with a Mark I. And you might remember from my other tutorials that I say not to combine motors like this. But, with this glitch, we can put an aux on the Mark II, and have it go from the Mark II into the Mark I, and then into the wheels. And by doing that, it takes the torque boost of the aux, which brings you from, I don't know, 8,000 torque to 16,000 torque, and then this Mark I, after it, takes the speed and brings the speed back up. So the speed that you lost from the aux is back. And that gets you quite a big boost. This is called motor filtering, and it works really well with bigger motors, especially the Medius. Now, let me show you what happens when you try to motor filter both sides of a motor. Only the side of the motor that has the Mark I on it will go at full speed. The side of it that has the aux will still go at aux speed, which we do not want. We want everything to be going at the top speed, because that's how we'll get the most out of our motors. So what we want to do, if we have this Medius motor, is we can put it on the side, And this has now gotten us the full speed out of the Medius on our whole drivetrain, except for right here. But this isn't connected to any wheels. You just can't use this for a wheel. Now, there is an easier way to filter both sides of the motor, though it does have a downside. You can put two filtering motors on it. This will get you both sides filtered, but it has the problem of reducing your torque efficiency. 
you lose more torque from combining motors like I've taught before, and doing this kind of hurts your filter. Now I'm going to cover a few common motor layouts and gearbox setups for you so that you can get started quickly. This here is a pretty good early game speed build using just three of the starter motors. You'll be able to get around, I'd say, most of the starter stations since you're on 25 size wheels, so like SFM, ART, SS, SPT, HMNN, uh, and KRL, maybe SRM. Those are some of the best stations that you could do with some of these speed builds on the smaller size wheels. This here has a Medius and two Mark II motors in the front that has an aux filtering the Medius through a Mark I to get some good power in the wheels in the back, which you can put a trailer on and get some good speed. And then, the two Mark IIs in the front, with their reindeers, will help you go a bit faster when you're using cargo, or just driving without anything. This here is a bit more of an expensive build. We have our Medius motors being filtered into a Mark II motor, instead of a Mark I. This gets us a little bit more torque through our drivetrain into our wheels, which are using 50 sizes. 50 sizes and 40 sizes use a lot more torque than other sized wheels, so this will help us out quite a lot. Builds like this do not go as fast as builds with the UKF30 wheels, but they can still be useful because they have a lot of clearance so they can go over rocks and craters a lot easier. This here is a speedrun build. It is one of the only builds that will actually use these Cheetah gearboxes. This build goes about 120 speed if you get to its tops, and it holds a lot of the records for time records. These builds are not easy to make because it takes a lot of these half batteries, pretty much max skills, and three mediuses, which is not cheap, but is definitely worth it. Now, in the comments, I'm going to be holding a vote for a tutorial I'm going to be making next week. It's going to either be a way to connect and disconnect train cars with cargo, a way to fly using both thrusters and some glitches with two accounts, or a way to lock onto trailers to make more stable trailer builds. Leave your answer in the comments.